out to local government autonomy. A certain assembly uh, held a public hearing on the need for local governments to be autonomous. Various recommendations and papers have been presented on the need to amend the constitution in whose benefit, in whose best interest. Today we're talking with um, the LCDA chairman of Isolo, the chairman of Isolo Local Council Development Area, Alhaji Shamsuddin Abiodun Olale. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, right? No, it's my pleasure. Great. So perhaps we can start by unraveling the mystery of local government autonomy. What does this really mean? Um, when we talk about uh, autonomy for local government, we are saying that states should not play the statutory role of uh, uh, st 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 the supervisory role that they play, the monitoring role they play, that the, uh, the House of, Houses of Assembly should not perform the oversight function of checking the activities at the local level. That is one part of it. But for people who have had to contribute to that topic, I think they are talking essentially about the funds from the federal allocation. Mm. I think that is what they are talking okay. about. And to that, I feel that we should not dissipate so much energy on autonomy. Okay. It is just like talking about the, the vessel and not talking about the volume okay. of liquid in that vessel. Okay. The right issue to be discussed is the allocation formula. Okay. What amount of money is coming to the local government? Okay. So talking about autonomy in that perspective is like talking about the vessel and not the volume. But the autonomy, the discourse, won't it bring about the funding and the allocation? Uh, well, well, well the, the, the way I see it, and from the experience that I've gathered over time about local government relationship with the state and, other, and the federal uh, arm of government, mm. I do not see autonomy as any problem okay. to local government. Okay. Because at the local level, Things are done with limited resources, both in expertise okay. and in resources. Okay. But the state governments have much more okay. than the local government that local governments will continue to rely on the support but of the state government. But is that the government. way you, uh, you want it to run, you and those who are also managing local government councils? Is that the way it ought to be? Do you think a lot more? You think can be addressed for you to function better and do a lot more? No, we, 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 we in Lagos State, I may not be able to talk about other states, okay. but Lagos State as it is today yeah. will still need support of the state government in no ramification. No matter how much you allocated? The state government, the, the issue of allocation is this. Everybody is in the know of how much is allocated to local governments. The, the, the spreadsheet mm. is, is always advertised in the newspapers. Mm. So it is not the issue of local government not knowing what is due to okay. each. Okay. At the federal allocation meeting, they, uh, they, they, they prepare a spreadsheet. Okay. In this spreadsheet, you know what is allocated okay. to you. Okay. You know what I say is, you know, no, what I'm asking in general, you are saying let's not focus on local government autonomy. Let's focus on funding and allocation. And what we're saying is the funding allocation that you're getting, let's use our own okay. area of a concern where you function and where we lead. Is it adequate? What is coming from the federal allocation, uh, uh, the federal allocation is, is grossly inadequate. Is that Is grossly inadequate. This is the area I will urge all Nigerians to focus oh. on. Okay. A situation where only 20% of the, the, the total revenue to the country is given to 774 local governments in Nigeria is not the way it should be. Mm. And we have conversed, the state government is saying the theater of development is the local government. Okay. It is not in the superfluous uh, structures you have at the, at the seat of power, at the top. At, at the top. It is not there. So we must focus more on the grassroots. More on the grassroots, because okay. that is where development is taking place. 20% okay. is not enough. 26% is equally inadequate to the state. Okay. 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 
One of the, uh, there's more to talk about the operation of joint accounts between states and local governments. Uh, has it helped you to function better? Is it helping local governments function better? It's not in any way impairing or having a negative impact in what we do. We need to come to the center. We need to come before the, uh, the, the state house of assembly. That is what the constitution says. Okay. Until the constitution is amended in that okay. area, okay. We, continue to, uh, we continue to operate what is on ground. Okay. And that is not even the issue. What is the issue? The issue is the federal allocation formula. Okay. Federal allocation formula. And I think people who are conversing more on autonomy are okay. trying to distract people okay. from the real issue. Okay. So autonomy will not address funding and allocation? Autonomy, no, no, uh, when, uh, funding and, and allocation is part of what they call autonomy. Okay. The, 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 the opinion of some people is that it is just because the money is not coming directly to the local government that is coming through the joint account allocation uh, committee of the state. Okay. That is what they are saying. But that's not true. It, it is true. That is the situation now. Okay. But that is not the problem. That is what I'm saying. Okay. Because it doesn't matter where it comes through. Just that is what I'm adequate. saying. And you are saying it's let, already let it, inadequate. It is inadequate. Okay. It is inadequate. Money is not stuck. Uh, the joint account local go, uh, uh, joint account committee money is not stuck there. Indefinitely, it's it not stuck there. Down. It's coming down. So it's what they send that you get, it's, it's, and you are saying what they send is inadequate. Is inadequate. But I think you are in the best position. You and the rest of those in the seventy seven hundred something local government council. Yes, but what we are so saying. So, so, so the the, the 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 center is holding so much money. Mm. Autumn day. They, they, they are holding so much money. I mean, money. shouldn't they be holding a lot of money? No, they shouldn't, because there are so many functions they, they, they claim to perform there that are not getting to the grassroots. Mm. You talk about the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing. Mm. Are they building houses for people at the local level? I mean, In the have... recent years, how many houses have uh, has been built by that ministry? Mm. How much of road construction is going up, is going, is going on, through the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing mm. in local governments in the states. There is local government work and going the states. On. No, wh well, where you're you, you asking us, but tell us. You know, the, the is point, that work going on? The, 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 the quantum of work going is grossly inadequate. Okay. You have so it's many of the federal. It's not with the income that they hold. That, is, that is what we are saying. Okay, so you are saying that the, the LCDAs and the LGAs are in a better position to know what they require at yes, the grassroots. So the, grassroots. the funding should come to you. The okay, states great. and the local governments. Okay. We are more, it's easier for us at the lower level to reach out to you. So it's that is easy the point. in everybody's best interest that when is adequate the point. funds are, are sent down. Okay. We have uh, a very clear picture of, uh, of your needs and aspirations. And so I hope that uh, things will come in a way that it will work well for yes. everyone. Because when it works well for you, it works well for us and for we the all people. benefit. The Nigerians are happy. But are you looking at other areas where uh, you can generate revenue, internally generated revenue? Are there areas you can look at? In the local yes, area? yes, yes. We are definitely looking at that. But you know, when you, most of this thing is targeted at the people. We are not expecting goods to pay revenue. It is just the people. And we have found that the poverty has eaten too deep into hmm. various homes. Okay. So there is an extent to which you can push the people. Hmm. But be that as it may, we are not allowing the, the, our drive for revenue. We are not allowing it to die. Okay. Rather, we are finding a way to improve on it and in a way that our people will not be so much uh, will not be further impoverished. Okay, but um, how have you impacted? How would you say you and others of your ilk, other LCDA chairman and local government chairman, how would you say you've impacted directly on the people? What are they saying? What are their aspirations? Uh, are they satisfied with your performances so far? Uh, well, people are satisfied uh, relatively because we know as a fact that we still have so much more to do we have a handicap in the areas of funds. But by constant contact with our people, we explain 
uh, challenges to them and attend to those ones that are within our capacity. Mm -hmm. And uh, be, 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 when you talk to people, people get to understand. Where people expect that you come around and tar a whole stretch of road, be, but because the funds are not there, you get there with a greater get grade the road, make it spotting it for people mm. to drive at least within a season. People get to uh, appreciate that. Okay. And when you tell, when, when you let them know that. This is the level which, uh, to which you can get to. Okay. People get to understand they appreciate you. Okay. And you don't forget that the local government is the closest to the people. Okay. We, we have so much to do in the area of social development. We know their needs. People must have access to the people at the local government, that, and that we are ensuring. Mm -hmm. Myself and my colleagues, we ensure that we are very close yeah, to our people. Our policy. That is what we do. Okay. And I think people are appreciating that. But finally, quickly, as we wrap up, what will you say are the challenges that you face? Briefly, what is the challenge? The major face? challenge that we face is okay. the issue of funding. Let there be an amendment in favor of local government in the revenue allocation formula. Okay. When that is done, people will get better service delivery okay. at the local level. We wish you well in your endeavors. Thank you very okay. much. It's, uh, I hope that uh, things will happen as you you and others wish it to be. Because basically you are speaking for yourself. Other, the state will speak for itself. Federal government too will defend no, what we, the way what, things have been what, arranged. What, 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 what I'm saying is not essential, essentially for local government okay. alone. It is for the state and the local government. Okay. The, the funds that are stuck upstairs should come down to the state and the local government. Mm. But the you federal government should endeavor. Answer, because every time we read the papers, we hear of how gigantic and humongous funds have been shared amongst the states. Yes. In what proportion? State? The proportion is 52%. Mm. 52% to the federal government, 26 to 30, uh, 36, local go uh, 36 states, and only 20% to local government. Alhaji, you must come again. Okay, I'll have you some today. You must come again. Thank you very much. It's Our a pleasure coming this time. Over. Please come again. Let's talk more expansively about this. But continue to do the good work you are doing.